Hey folks, how y'all doing? We're going to be doing a video today on a Sony Blu-ray player. We're streaming video and all that stuff like Hulu, Amazon, Instant Video, Netflix, uh, and DVD and Blu-ray discs. Uh, my other one is a Pioneer. It's, it's like a DVD um, um, recorder and player. And it plays I think, in all zones. I got it years ago, but it's getting kind of worn out. And it pays like, I think at the top, it pays like 480p or 720p, and it's not good quality. And the TV I got now is a 1080p HD. Well, you know, of course, 4K or ultra high definitions out there now. So this is what I this is what I got. All right, here, here it is, right here, y'all. This is a get my video skills up. Um, yes, it's a Sony. BDP S6500 and as you see here it plays ultimate streaming and entertainment I only pay like here's receipt I think I only paid uh, got a deal on it yeah 99 bucks and I got my patch cable Ethernet cable for 299 so it's only like a hundred and two dollars and ninety eight cent total, free shipping. Yeah, free shipping. But it does all this stuff right here. Sorry for the glare. It does 4K, UHD, upscale, Blu-ray 3D, DVD, all kind of stuff. And right now I got a Google Chrome, Chrome Chromecast, and it does pretty good, but it doesn't do the Amazon and certain things. You need to have Fire Stick for that. So instead of just buying the Fire Stick, I just went ahead and got the Sony, Sony Blu-ray player with streaming with all that stuff on. Turn your TV into a smart TV just for the, just for the DVD player. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I got to install my um, Ethernet cable. So I will show you from then what I got. All right. Okay, y'all. I got my Ethernet cable hooked up to the back of, to the back of my router. And there she is. And it comes on down. Just blue Ethernet cable back there. It comes on down right there. All right, we got the high work out of the way. So, we'll put this bad boy back in place. Expand the router. All right, got that done. Then we'll come back and zip tie everything up after we get done. And that right there is my, that's my telephone cable, my weather station, and my uh, uh, AT antenna coming through there. And my telephone. <laughs> my telephone alarm, that is my bell alarm. All right. Now we'll go ahead and hook in the HDMI cable up and all that good stuff. Okay, back here, y'all. It's my HDMI cable coming in to my, from my internet. That's that, and I got my Google Chrome hooked in right there, and the USB port checking, USB port checking up. So I'm gonna take that out, and I'm gonna save my Google Chrome because I'm gonna reuse that in my little girl's playhouse. So and that's where my other HDMI port is, where the uh, Google, Google Chrome is. All right, and here is my old, uh, ten-year-old, 2006 Pioneer uh, DVD recorder. I think it's kick butt, y'all. You know. But still, I still can use it. But it's got the old coax cables coming to it. As you see there, RCA plugs. That just not not as good as quality as the uh, HDMI. Not hard at all. So technology wins again. 
All right. So, it's, anyway, and uh, also, here's a, the Blu-ray. There's a Blu-ray player. Here's the remote. Batteries and the power cord, all that good stuff. So we're gonna run that now. Okay. Okay, y'all. Back again. Got my HDMI cable hooked up. And this is a Belkin. Uh, old school, but good school. HDMI cable, what, 10 years old, but it's really good quality. HDMI. And that's where it goes. Took the Google Chrome out. And now I have the that HDMI cable ran. I got my power cable cable ran. That is right here. I run an extension cord over to here. Let me go to the back side here, make it a little easier to see. Ran right there, extension cord. It's tucked tuck out, tucked out, tucked in there pretty good. So yeah. All right, we're gonna take the we're gonna unwrap this uh, nice little DVD player. I mean, Blu-ray Blu DVD player, one-handed. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, y'all, this thing. One second. All right, this thing isn't big. Look at my hand. See the size of my hand? It's not big as anything. Let me see. There, there she is. But man, it's not big at all. And here, are the hookups in the back. Let me get you a better view on that. Got your Ethernet. Got your HDMI out right there. And digital out. Coaxial. We're Dolby Digital. That's the orange. And, and then there's the power right there, 12 volt. Which 120 volt. Convert, convert it from 12 volt to 120 volt. So yeah, yeah, some nice stuff. Nice piece of equipment. All right. So let's go ahead and hook this Sony DVD Blu-ray player up and give it a whirl. Okay, we now have our H, our power cord right there hooked in, the Ethernet cable, and the HDMI port. We are good to go. That's it. Not a whole lot to it. Three cables, power, Ethernet, and HDMI versus a lot more, the older ones, you know, it's a lot easier to hook up. All right, well, let's turn this thing on and see how it works. Okay, y'all, we got it hooked up. I'm gonna turn on television. And... Get television turned on. Okay. Now we're going to turn it to input HDMI 2. Okay, there we go. I already had it turned on. Just turn it on. Well, I'll, I'll do a demonstration on that. Okay, now I'll cut it on. 
There we go. Yeah, everything you could possibly imagine on here. Yeah, YouTube. Hit that. YouTube. Woohoo! It's got, it's great, it's easier. I mean, it's easier than casting from a cell phone or a pad. When you've got one controller to do everything. Alright. We got uh, the Chris Wire channel. Sailing in fun. Uh, all kind of stuff. Alright, let's get out of here. Return. Exit. Alright, let's see. You got Amazon Video, Hulu Plus, Featured Apps. Um, it's got a lot of them. And it says you can customize building your apps, this and that. Okay, it's got Netflix. Yeah, y'all, it's just got a little bit of everything in there. It's really nice. Um, let me see here. Anyway, you got Netflix, all that good stuff. I mean, it's really cool. And you got a movie you want to watch, stream or watch movies. All right, let's get out of here. Exit Netflix. Then we go to that's my other my other cool one is Amazon Video. This is the simplest way to. There we go. You got movies, anything you want to watch. Movies, TVs, channels. All kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, it's cool, y'all. It's really cool. And I'm gonna, yeah, it's good. Okay. But yeah, you put your DVD player in there, this and that. All kind of stuff. Yeah, so you get all apps. Okay, there's all apps. It's got a ton of them in there, y'all. I'll just get through the list. I'm liking this outdoor life. You can stream from stream and watch all kind of stuff. And this is my third DVD DVD Sony Blu-ray player, but this is the smallest one in the bunch, and it's cool. And yeah, I just want to share this with y'all. All right. Okay, and uh, I want to show you the remote. I'm going to turn this off. Turn the TV off. All right. Okay, anyway, y'all, here's the remote. It's got all kind of cool stuff on there. It's up close of it. And uh, some air conditioning cutting on. It's nice control. Really figured it out, real planned. Um, you can do your favorite app, Netflix. Anything you want to do is pretty easy to operate. Um, but anyway, and 
this is the, the unit itself. Again, uh, it is the Sony. And it's the Sony BDP dash S6500 or BDP dash S6500. Nice, nice, nice unit. Uh, really highly recommend it. Good unit. Okay, y'all. Well, that's going to be it for my video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And many thanks for watching. And hey, please subscribe. Let me know what you think. Give me, leave a comment. All right, now. God bless and simplify. Y'all have a good one, y'all. Hoorah.